What's going on guys? It is CJ back again with another video here on Crew Happens. We're going to do part two of my world that I've been working on. Part one you guys seem to like. We had a comment saying that they enjoyed that it was just talking about my homebrew world rather than just how to make one like a lot of the other videos here are. And I, I agree because that's something that I was shooting for because I've tried to find other people's pantheon things and it's not possible. So here's my ideas. Feel free to use them as you wish and run with them. Um, fair warning, uh, any images used, just like the first one, um, are not mine. They're Google images. They're just used as a filler just to give you a vis visual of what I think they, what, what they look like to me. But you can change them as you wish. So today we're just going to do part two here is not going to be the rest of the gods per se, but more of them. Um, we're going to do just four in this quick video um, because we're just going to talk about the children of Inelia, who is the mother of nature. So these are her elemental children. So we're just going to talk about them, go over what they do, um, how I use them. They're not really like god gods. They're more like they're elemental beings. So they're technically worshipped by a lot of the races, but they're not as <clears throat> worried about the dealings of the races rather than they just keep the world going um, which I haven't named yet I have no name for the world yet so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below but we'll jump into it the first one we're going to talk about is Vatin the Lord of Water um, I have that he is a powerful water elemental that reigns over the element of water from the depths of the oceans when he's especially angry storms with waves the size of giants wreak havoc on the sea he is worshipped by most of the sea born races like the Triton and Tortles, and most sailors would do well to mention a prayer to him when on his waters. So, this one I have, I think it just makes sense that he'd be like a Triton and water based worshipped god. So, any kind of aquatic creatures, merfolk, maybe Seguin, because they, all of these elementals are going to be at least chaotic neutral. If not, um, the fire one might lean a little more towards chaotic evil, but it just kind of depends on how you want to do that and who you have worshipping in and why if you decide to use these. Um, all their names I put into Google Translate, like simple words like water and things like that, and I forget what language I t sent them to, um, but they're all, all, I think all four of them are the same language. Um, but yeah, that's that and Lord of Water. Um, after that we have, uh, the next one is his brother Luft, Lord of Air. Uh, Luft tends to keep to himself in the battles of the elementals, or so he would like many to believe. He will enable his brothers in their squabbles merely for his enjoyment, by either pushing waves and tides faster for Vatten, or by fanning the flames of Brand. He gets amusement out of playing both sides, and they fight plenty to keep him entertained. Luft is worshipped by the Arakakra and many others whom to travel the skies, or live in the barren deserts where a prayer for cool breeze may be spoken. So this one's kind of more like the Loki of the brothers. He's just sitting back, chilling, relaxing, watching... And if things start getting a little too boring, he might nudge it along and keep it going, keep keep them keep them entertaining. Uh, so the main the main battle between all four of them is pretty much just that and Lord of Water, and the one we're going to talk about now, Brand, the Lord of Fire. So Brand is the most dangerous of the elementals. He tends to lean towards helping Udar, who we talked about in the previous video. If you uh, didn't catch that one, you can click over here on the upper right corner and uh, it'll link the card over to part one where we talk about um, Udar and his his reigns. Um, he wants to set anything and everything ablaze. Um, Brand spends most of his time deep within the mountains of the worlds, creating volcanoes and powerful pools of magma that many of the dwarven races love to use to make the great forges of the lands. Due to this, many of the dwarven races hold a soft spot for Brand. While they may not worship him directly, favoring Ateus in order, they will give their thanks for the heat they use to temper the fine blades they produce. So yeah, main main battle is, think if you like Pokemon, Pokemon um, like Kyogre and Groudon, fire, water, like this fight for control between like the fire and water. It's simple, it's elementals. Um, they, they don't like each other. Um, the last one um, is Earth. It's Yord, the Lord of Earth. Uh, Yord, the Earth Elemental of the Brothers, tends to spend his time sleeping. Easy to anger, especially when woken from a nap, he can easily create or destroy a mountain in a split second. He tends to ignore the squabbling of his brothers, happy with the world as is. 
He only occasionally has to fight back with them when Vatten floods some of his land or Bran begins to liquefy too much molten rock below. He is favored by many dwarven races, much like Bran, because of the strength he possesses and the gratefulness they have for him creating their mountain homes. So I'd put him a little bit more as one of the worshipped ones um, for the dwarves. Like, if we're comparing it to Faerun, I think, like, it's, like, Dumathoin is one of the main gods that they worship, and then they've got some of the other side gods that they also, you know, give thanks to for, like, their enchantments and things like that. So to kind of be, like, they got Ateus in order because the dwarves are very, like, everybody needs to do what they're doing, you know, goodly folk. Um, and then they give thanks to Yord probably would be after that for providing them with their home, their minerals, the ores, the things like that, and then brand for allowing them to turn those minerals, ores, and whatever to their craftsmen and ships. But yeah, those are the four elementals. Um, the next video, we'll go over uh, the children of the life and death deities. Um, they're pretty fun. Um, they've got some inspiration from shows like Supernatural and things like that, um, as well as Norse mythology to an extent, because one of them is kind of like Loki. But we'll talk about that. That'll probably be um, the end of the deities for now for what we have um, and then after that we'll get into I've got I've got an entire binder here that I've been working on I've got everything if you guys are interested I've got cities with like people um, that like like will give NPC names and things that they can give um, I've even got all the way to I have quests with like burned note props that I've made and how I made them and things like that we could talk about um, these kind of like kind of quests that I'd worked in and made for um, my players. Um, I've even got some character sheets for some of the players that I had made, just just so that they have a visual representation of their players. So if there's anything that you guys would like to uh, get into, or like the main villains, things like that, if it's anything like that that you'd want to get into and you'd be interested in, we can, and they'll be coming in the future. Um, I know a lot of people were saying they wanted to see more of just somebody else's world to help give ideas, and feel free to use any of this stuff. I'm sure I got inspiration from somewhere, whether I can pinpoint it or not, based on some book, game, movie, something. <clears throat> um, I can tell that some of my stuff ends up being pretty heavily influenced by, like, um, R.A. Salvatore. I got a pop-up. Because um, I've, I've been listening to the um, Legend of Drizzt series on Audible, which, not sponsored, but I highly recommend. They're pretty great. Um and listening on Audible, I can listen while I'm at work or editing or doing anything like that. Um, other than that, uh, if you guys are fans of live streams and games, um, you can check out on our main page. We have a link over to our gaming channel that I haven't uploaded to it for a while. It's kind of just Twitch um, VODs right now, and we're in the process. I can't decide if we want to stick with Twitch, um, so head over to Crit Happens YT on Twitch. Um, drop a follow. We'll probably still be there for a little while. I can't decide if we want to switch to Facebook, maybe. Um, if you guys have any kind of preference that you like better, let me know in the comments below because it'll help make the decision a little easier. But right now, we're, we're affiliate on Twitch. But from what I've heard some, from some friends that stream, that Facebook's actually kind of taking over as a lot easier to, to grow, expand, and kind of even use to an extent. You don't get buried like you do on Twitch. It's a lot easier to get it going. Um, so if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you would. It would really, really, really help us out. But yeah, it's like 80% of our views are from unsubscribed people. So click the subscribe button, ring the bell if you want, and it'll let you know when we uh, upload a new video. This outro is taking way too long. I promise I'm not just milking time to try to get better ads because we're not monetized yet. So if you guys enjoyed it, like it, comment. I'm saying it again. I'm just going to go. Bye.